Alright guys, so this is probably going to be one of my biggest experiments yet. I'm doing it for you guys, so we'll see what happens. So my goal here is to make sugar-free caramels and the key ingredient to this is going to be Vita Fiber Syrup, which is a sugar-free syrup, it's high in fiber, um, still has carbs in it but literally like majority of the carbs are fiber. Got a few other ingredients here, I've got some Splenda, I have one whole egg that is beaten vanilla extract, molasses, we're just going to use a tiny bit of that to get kind of like a brown sugar flavor. And then I have two tablespoons of margarine and I got my pan here. We're going to go ahead and do this and see what happens. Great, so I got all my ingredients here and this is like the most random pot of things. It's got the Splenda, it has actually a quarter cup of water as well, the butter, the molasses, the vanilla, the egg. But yeah, so now we're gonna see what happens when I start boiling it. Actually, I forgot the Vita Fiber, so let's throw that in too. <laughs> Since this part is a complete estimate, I think I'm just gonna go with about a quarter cup of Vita Fiber and see what happens. <laughs> I added my Vita Fiber. This is why I call this test, test kitchen, because I have no idea if anything's ever gonna work. But if it does, I'll post the recipe below so you guys can have it and you guys don't have to go through the stuff that I'm going through right now. I also have um, my mold ready over here. Just a <laughs> ice cube mold. And then I sprayed it with coconut oil in the hopes that my stuff will not stick to it. So we'll see. Trying to film and do this at the same time <laughs> is not working so well. So I might have to just show you guys the end product after I finish stirring the crap out of this. So this is what it looks like so far. Kind of still very soupy. It hasn't really thickened up like it usually does when I don't put Vita Fiber in it and just make a sauce. So I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but I know Vita Fiber hardens after it's been heated and then cooled. So I'm hoping that works in my favor, but again, we're just gonna have to see. So this is the consistency of it right now. It's still not as thick as I want it to be. But again, it will probably thicken up after. I think I'm just gonna wait a couple minutes, see how it thickens up or if it does, and then I'm gonna pour it in the molds over there right after. It's starting to get a little thicker, so I'm just gonna throw in like a tiny bit of salt now. So I got it in the cup now. It's definitely starting to thicken up a bit and I'm just going to go ahead and pour it into my molds here and then we'll throw it in the freezer and see if it starts to harden up. I've got them all filled now, but I think just to be fancy and extra, I'm going to throw in a couple pecans and mix some of them. I don't even know if these are gonna set, so we'll find out. <laughs> all right, and now it's time for the freezer. Let's see what happens. So here's the final result of the caramel cubes is actually the next day so I'm hoping that they're frozen solid now they do still feel like soft like if you were to chew them like they'd be chewy so I guess we'll find out if I can even get these out of here but that should be an experiment in itself alright so this was definitely a failed attempt but cool thing is you could definitely put these in like like hot chocolate or something or just like on top of like a protein cake that you microwave or something like that and it would just melt like caramel sauce because the sauce itself tastes so good and even then you could just um, leave the sauce before it was frozen and just put it in your fridge that's what I used to do and then you can just drizzle it all over stuff like it's actually a really good sauce so 
highly recommend that but of course this part was a fail I need to work on it a little bit more and then maybe I'll repost but yeah this is the result of my experiment I told you guys I'm gonna show you everything but I hope you enjoyed this video anyways came out with a really good caramel sauce either way you can make the caramel sauce with the Vita fiber that I used or you can make it without because it shouldn't really affect the flavor um, just the macros of it if you're looking <clears throat> for a sauce with more fiber then I would make it with the Vita fiber anyways that's all I have for you guys today hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video all right <laughs> bye I'm gonna probably eat this now update I don't care that didn't work it tastes so good